We all spend a good amount of our time on the internet searching for things. And while the search engines are fantastic, a lot of times the results of our searches come back with millions of hits. Most of us will just look at the first three or four returns and then get frustrated if it's not giving us what we need. In this video, we will go over some search engine hacks called Google Foo to help us in narrowing down our searches and get better results. So what exactly is Google Foo? Defined by the Wiktionary, it is the skill in using search engines, especially Google, to quickly find useful information on the internet. This skill is especially critical if you are a cybersecurity practitioner and you're performing the reconnaissance step of the cyber kill chain or just doing some open source intelligence gathering. So let's dive into the Google search bar and do some Google foo. Some general rules for Google search is that the capitalization does not matter. You can type in Linux forensics, right, with just a capital L. And then you can try it again, typing Linux Forensics, this time with some random capitalization of the word Forensics. And we get the same identical results. So capitalization does not matter. But the ordering of the search terms do matter. So if I type in WSL Linux Forensics, we get a certain set of results returned to us. And then if we actually just change the ordering to WSL Forensics Linux, now we actually get a different set of search returns. And then special characters generally don't matter except when you use certain special characters. And what are those special characters? So let's take a look at some of them here as we get into our top Google Foo techniques. The first technique we are going to be covering is exact matching. You can use quotation marks around the words that you want an exact match on. If you don't use quotation marks around a set of words, Google will find pages that contain one or more of those words typed. So for example, if I typed Linux memory dump, the resulting pages contain the three words somewhere on the page, and it may not be what I want. But if I typed Linux memory dump in quotes, the resulting pages contain the three words in that specific order, as you can see in these results here. This could be useful when you know exactly what phrase you're looking for and you don't want to get extraneous results. Otherwise, you're going to get a whole bunch of results that may only give you one or more of the terms that you are interested in. The next technique we are going to look at is the OR operator. This OR operator will return search results for either the first term or the second term that you're looking for. From our last search of Linux memory dump, Let's say that now we also want results from any page that contain the words Mac memory dump. We can just add the OR operator, which is the word OR spelled out in capital letters, and then the second search term in quotation marks. So I'm going to type double quote Mac memory dump and double quote. And then here we see the results and you can see that they are either pages that contain the exact phrase of Linux memory dump or Mac memory dump. And I know I told you earlier that the capitalization doesn't matter in Google Foo, uh, but now I'm adding the exception to when you're using these special operators. So you do have to actually make it capital O-R. Lowercase O-R will not work. Note that if you want results for pages that has both terms, just get rid of the OR operator. So we're left with Linux memory dump, in quotes, and then space, and then Mac memory dump. And then the results will only show pages that contain both terms. Or you can actually use the AND operator spelled out and capitalized with A-N-D. And you'll get the same results. Sometimes when you're searching for something, a lot of results for keywords that you don't want pops up. And you can use a dash in front of a keyword that you want to exclude. So for example, if I'm doing a search for Linux forensics distro, I get a lot of returns here. And I notice that Kali is one of the common terms that are picked up. And for some reason, if you don't think Kali is a forensic distro, you can eliminate any results that show Kali by adding dash Kali. So now I have Linux Forensics Distro dash Kali, 
And as you can see, all of the results that come back don't have Kali you know, as part of the page. And all you heavy Kali users can comment below and let me know that I'm wrong. If you're doing a search, sometimes you're only interested in certain types of files. So for this type of search, you can use the file type operator to narrow down the results to a specific type of file like a PDF, a CSV, a KML, a HTML, a doc, docx, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. And of course, many of the common image and video formats. So if I want to look for the term Linux command cheat sheet, I get a lot of hits. And some of the results may be an HTML page and others are documents. So let's say that I'm only interested in PDFs. I can add the file type colon PDF operator and only get back PDF files. And you may be asking at this point, hey, why don't I just type Linux command cheat sheet PDF? Well, so this does return some PDFs, but it also returns uh, some HTML pages that contain PDFs. So not exactly what we're looking for. So being able to use this file type operator really narrows things down for us. If you are doing a search, sometimes you're only interested in the results coming from one particular website or domain. For this type of search, you can use the site operator to narrow down the results. So from the search that we did before, I can further narrow down the resulting PDFs to only those coming from the sans.org domain by adding the site operator, so site colon, and then the name of sans.org. And so now you can see from the returns that it is only PDFs with the keywords Linux command cheat sheet, and then it's only coming from the general sans.org domain. If you're looking for websites that have specific keywords in the titles, then you can use the inTitle operator, which returns pages that contain the keyword in the title of that page. So for example, I can type in site colon sans.org to limit everything to just the sans.org domain, and then inTitle colon password. And this will return only documents from the sans.org domain and only pages that have the keyword password in the title. And so now for something fun, this particular search can find some publicly available webcams. So all you gotta do is type in in title colon double quote webcam space seven and double quote. And this will come back and give us a lot of results that has the word webcam seven as part of the title. It's just well known that this is a particular webcam that uses this as part of their uh, page title. And there are a lot of results that come back. Some of them are just IP numbers, which leads you to a public webcam. But beware what you click on. Some of the results that are returned kind of look questionable. So click at your own risk. If you're looking for results from a certain website, but don't remember the full name, then you can use the in URL operator, which returns pages that contain the keywords in the URL of a page. So for example, if I can't remember that if it's sans.org or sans.edu as a domain, then I can just put in URL colon sans, right? And then in title colon password. And this will return anything within the, uh, that has sans in the URL. So I don't have to actually remember if it's sans.org or sans.edu. And for something kind of fun again, this particular search will also find publicly available webcams, but I will limit it to a specific site just to make things simpler. So we're gonna type in in URL colon view slash view dot shtml. And then I'm just gonna limit it to site colon lpl dot org. And so you here we can see the webcam for this particular library. So there you have it. These are the basic Google Foo techniques that I use to make my daily searches more useful. What are some of your favorite searching techniques? Share it in the comments below. For another video that may be of interest to you, check out this video here. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe 
Thanks for your time and happy hunting.